the Young Americans for Freedom at the University of Iowa's newest guest speaker made her way to the Iowa Memorial Union tonight with an anticipation of a large crowd, but when the doors closed, only around 60 people were in the Black Box Theater. Like this, having more protesters come in, sit in our events, and then also, you know, getting to engage more in Q&A. Despite a smaller crowd, then anticipated Paula Scanlon still made her way up onto the stage to give her speech and open up a Q&A. Scanlon is a former collegiate swimmer who was teammates of a trans athlete. Her argument against trans athletes in sports involves the uncomfortable feelings of female athletes around former men, the alleged competitive disadvantages created by transgender individuals, and Scanlon's belief that men are men and women are women. It is a very long, prolonged, vulnerable experience where you are completely naked, and to introduce men into that situation is unacceptable. Protesters were present inside the event jeering at what they didn't agree with, correcting the pronouns of transgender individuals mentioned, and testing Scanlon's opinions on the topic during the Q&A. good faith conversations when you won't acknowledge that trans women are women, even though medical associations across the world will. That's a very interesting point that you say that because there have been time and time again that the medical industry has made mistakes. The most exciting Q&A that we've had. So it was really cool to like hear and be a part of that. Scanlon did receive thanks from some of the attendees during the Q&A, and her supporters appreciated her perspective arriving on campus. I think what you're saying is true. I mean, ultimately, she's not, I don't, I don't know if she's Christian or not, but ultimately the message she is preaching is the one of, I mean, how God created the world. And while Scanlon talked here in the Black Box Theater, protesters began to arrive outside. That's where Jordan Tovar is, where he is learning more about the protest. I'm here outside the Iowa Memorial Union, where protesters have gathered against YAF speaker Paula Scanlon, even on a cold and rainy night like this. Luckily, it's kind of died down a little bit, but uh, just because, honestly, we can't allow people who are going to just obviously try to be like, oh, these people shouldn't exist or don't exist, to just continue speaking like that. The organizer of the protest wanted to keep things peaceful as compared to previous events so their voice could be heard. I said, we're not going to do any marching in the streets, we're going to stand and chant. Like, I don't want us to be blocking the street or anything like that. I just told everybody. I wanted us to just be able to, like, have our message and tell our message to everybody without it getting, without getting cops involved, without it getting violent or reckless. At different points, protest leaders even gave updates to their following as to what was going on inside. As night fell, so did more rain, but demonstrators didn't want to let it wash out their messages of support for trans people. The university upholds love and respect, and I just feel like for there to be giving them a platform for a hateful speaker just doesn't uphold what's in the conduct and what's in the, you know, Iowa's beliefs. And as intended, the protests remained peaceful as they didn't interact with law enforcement. Unlike previous events, they didn't block traffic or block the road going on Madison Street. From the Iowa Memorial Union, Jordan Tovar, DITV.